stuff, so I'm like, well, I'm just getting nudging you awake, also using Killer Crab's pillow, which is okay with the cold, a bit you're tired, and splash water in your face, sweat, and Claudette approaches that look on their face of excitement, terror. It was just on McFloat as well by someone's in love, or you've been infected with zombie butterflies in your sleep. It's happening here before, but it's really a love thing. It's time, Claudette goes to the beach with the Kiddlers, they're all signed flicked by Tiki Torch as a scene, very reminiscent of the TV show you used to hate watch with your ex. We literally just said this at the beginning of the stream. Surrounded by Turban Killer Smash and those primal impulses, murder and making out. And you keep a cool head and treated us, your friendly island host, with dignity and respect, so don't tell anyone we told you this, but Thud and Dwight look around conspiratorially. So, let him keep going forward. Don't try to go all the way with the killer who isn't into you. But as you sip two way streets and you go on a green light in the other direction, you might end up with the friend zone. Friend zone? This is not so bad. Where do you think you are exactly? Dead by Daylight doesn't do friends, killers, and their survivors, and I'm afraid we can't say more. Okay, so who's into me? Let and Dwight look around conspiratorially again. Well, I've seen sparks flying between you and Hunches. I saw her whittling a little figurine of you last night while everyone was asleep. So are you ready? Of course you're not. But that's too bad. We're on a schedule. Make her over to the row of hotties. Claude and Dwight stand up to the side, hands behind their backs. It's been quite 48 hours, but there are clear sparks in the air, and I'm not just talking about this rusty chainsaw, though I do recommend staying away from those sparks. I don't request their love. Wait, I have to do a for this. No, you don't. You do the flower thing. Assemble the little fridge. Not... All right. And we all know who I'm going to choose this time around. Young Good Dwight's lovely bouquet. Alright, it is Huntress. Dr. Huntress, she's never looked more appealing. Her captain dress ruffles behind her in the morning breeze. Seagull lands on her shoulder like she's a beachy cartoon princess. Except Seagull's neck is up somewhere under her flowery dress. Probably safe for lunch. Ugh, she can't help but hunt. Huntress, I choose you. Let's spend the day together and see if we think the future is possible for our love. Me? Really? Huntress throws her hands up in the air like a bear and gallops towards you. At first you think she might sweep you at her... Swipe at you with her dragon hands, knock the life out of you. Instead, she scoops you up into a hug and takes your place at your side. And she just stuck her tongue out at all the killers. Sometimes the immature move is the right one. She's adorable, and I love her. It's sure to be a fun day. We'll be here not getting really precipitated, even though survivors matter too. Well, you go off and have a grand old time. Yep, just Claude and I hanging out. No one competing for our love. Wonder if we did in a past life to end up embroiled in this unrelenting mystery. But go, have a blast. I'll just eagerly leads you to the yacht to begin your romantic day together. You have to admit, warm, salty air on your skin, the sound of crushing waves, this is a pretty perfect morning, just you and Huntress. Hey, cuties. Ah, ocean here's too. I know them teeming with flesh-eating bacteria and dead bodies. That pesky ocean always killing the vibe. You're t you turn to Huntress. You sure you're okay here on the ocean? I know you don't like being out in the open. Something about being here with you makes me feel safe. You both sit down at a beautifully set table at the deck of the boat. A wide spread of mouth-watering breakfast goodies are arranged in front of you. Can we get you anything? Uh, you look a bit green. I get extremely seasick. And Trickster replaced all the island's drama mean with party jugs, so... Wait, how did they get here? Were they supposed to just on the beach consoling the rejected killers? There are more than two of them. Motion them one of them over. We'll both take a screwdriver. Hold up orange juice. Of course! Hey, when plays a particular song for us, set the moon. He hand white a piece of paper with a song title written on it. Sure, though I doubt Trapper has it in his vinyl collection. Soon the haunting melody of Hunch's mother's lullaby streams through the yacht's expensive stereo system. The boat rocks as though the rhythm to the rhythm of the song, the eerie melancholy mood is quite it's really quite romantic. Rex has never been this intimate. You reach out to hun touch Hunch's hand when suddenly a loud bellow scares. You, you knock your fleshy poured flute of straight vodka onto the pristine deck. It's Trapper. He's screaming at us from the beach. Look how tiny he looks all the way out there. And just squishes his head between your fingers like a child and giggles. Damn you both! The chairs you sitting on are worth more than you that. <coughs> oh god. <coughs> his voice fucks with me the most. More than your lives! Get back here! He's not wrong. Hey, Claudette, take us up farther. <laughs> I Captain. Can she drive a boat? Guess we'll find out. Alone again. Nothing but the call of a seagull and I'm the shadow of a creature looking beneath the waves. I have something for you. For me? 
and she sees a package wrapped in a bloodied apron. Clap your hands like a kid on their birthday. Her playful attitude is rubbing off on you. I made that ass <laughs> mask you asked for. I must forgot, but I bet you didn't. This is the whole reason you pursued hunters, I bet. Definitely to get a mask of your own. No other reason. Here you go. Yay, we get our own buddy mask. It's perfect. Put it on. It fits your face like a face club. You guys at Huntress with eyes on the mask, a swell of emotion surges through you. It'd be kind of funny if, like, you got little eye holes now. <laughs> when it's become two, rabbits be multiplying, even in mask form. Let's go back to my place. She downs her screwdriver. The tension is palpable as you enter the cabin. You cut, could cut it with a hatchet. <laughs> Give me a break. It's, it's day three of killer jokes. Narrator only has so much mojo. Hunter sits you down at the cluttered table in the kitchen. You notice the bloodstains that have crept into every nook and cranny of the wooden planks. What poor creature died on this table? Did they suffer? What do you care if they suffered? Get back in the ocean, ocean. Stop backseat eating ominous and... Stop backseat ominous and narrating. Stay here. Don't move a muscle or I'll hear it. I can hear any mammal's tendons creak as they stretch. It's a gift and a curse. I'll be right back. Uh, alone in the cabin. What to do? What to do? I kind of want to tidy up, but I feel like she might take that as, like, the wrong way. Like, me being like, oh, yeah, your shit's all messy. Um, but she might also like it as if, like, viewing me as, like, a stay-at-home partner. Uh, so let's do tidy up. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. I expect a flock of adorable birds and cute little mice to come sprinting in and help you, but they don't because this isn't some fantasy. This is gritty, this is real. Plus, I'm pretty sure you can kill all the adorable bird and cute little mice. You putter around the room by yourself, organizing Huntress's various trinket collections. Old bottles over here, discarded vintage doll parts over there, various keys that don't open anything in particular. Does she have a room full of these? All of these? Everyone has a drawer like that. Then you lay on a blanket down in front of her fireplace for no reason, no reason at all. You're certainly not imagining all the naughty things that go down in such a blanket. What's that in her strong yet delicate hands? You reach out for her, longing to stroke her blood matted hair and scratch her up soldiers. I thought we could get warm by the fire. Mm -mm -mm. She wags a finger at you, a bunny delicious smirk on her face. Not so fast. Remember when we talked about there's more things going on here? You nod like a little idiot. Well, I now know there's something up. The other night while you were sleeping, a cute little baby had stuck into each of the other killer's layers and saw the machine object they've been stealing from me. I think I'm connected somehow. Maybe it has to do with the symbol. Jeez. I should have go back last night, but something blocked me from picking up any of the objects up. Someone or something knows I'm into them. I think if you try, it might work. What do you say? Will you help? Hell yeah! Club trotting adventure treasure hunt on the level of Nicholas Cage masterpiece? You could definitely count me in. Let's go. Be your guardian angel, and you never know when those killers might pop up. Grab Huntress by the head, and practically trip over your own feet on your way out the door. Feels good to have a quest. Thrilling. Part of you is just wondering how quickly you can go through this and impress Huntress. Soon she'll take you in her yoked arms and you'll swoon. Your childhood crush on Papa is making more and more sense. <laughs> Where do you want to start? There are four killers who have stolen from Huntress. You're not going to let them get away with it. Which one do you want to investigate? She already said she found something of a trickster, so... Let's go to Wraith's Cosmic Dome? When you arrive at Wraith's odd ball hangout zone, you immediately understand why they call it the Cosmic Dome. They're being up me. <laughs> they being me, up. As if there are items and elements from the universe in the space, also it's a damned mess. It's undoubtedly a special place, the very air you breathe makes you feel like you're part of something much bigger. I'm going to hunt as much as uh, some lunch while you find the object. I'll let you know if I see. You'll know it when you see it because it's extremely shiny. Hey, how long have you been standing there? Are we ever really there? I don't have time for your existential crisis today. Wraith, Huntress, and I are totally get gonna get it on soon, I think. I hope. I need to find a special object you have hidden here. You stole from Huntress and she knows it. So you're trying to figure this whole thing out too, huh? Come check this out. Strange subject, but sure. If Rafe's 
It's rape we're dealing with after all. With the Jujo telescope, there you can see a far off island distance. Hmm. Holy smokes, is that? Sorry, I actually have no idea what that is. Would you mind filling me in? It's IP Island. For all the cool killers from intellectual properties that we legally oblige, not to mention by name, hang out and party with our elite celebs and Silicon Valley moguls. That's not even all. Zoom in over there. Oh! Is that Ghostface? I said not to name them! Oh, jeez, I'm gonna have to clear the rights. You have no idea how much my lawyer charges by the hour. I'm sorry, he just kind of popped up. I'm telling you, something crazy is going on over there. I have to know. I, have to, I wasn't trying to steal anything from entrance, I was just looking for answers, but uh, occasionally losing said answers. Yeah, that's right. The thing you're looking for, I can't actually find, so good luck, I guess. Oh, good at minigame. Haven't seen one of those before in the past 10 seconds. Alright. Glass on the ground. Quickly pick them up. You found it. So shiny. I knew I could count on you, Maxi. That's saying something, because I literally never learned to count via any traditional system of numbers. Let's get out of here. It's hard to believe that these old glasses really mean anything special, but a lady like Huntress deserves whatever she wants. Spend a moment imagining Huntress with glasses. Would she wear them over the mask or under? Hmm. Hey, it's not just some junk. This is my reading glasses. I just scrubbed the highlights. <laughs> Poor Ray. There are four killers have stolen from Hunters. You're not going to let them get away with it. As for Ruth's time, it's already covered. Just want me to investigate. Right, let's go to Trapper's Cave. The two ways to get to Trapper's Cave. Do the whole, you know, trap-based character theme he's got going on. You can rest sure that either one or both of these pathways is filled with traps. You're trying to hunt for a device, but she only giggles and shrugs her shoulders. You're on your own, it seems. Uh, underground tunnel, I guess. Underground? Huh? Sounds secretive. No one can stop you if they can't see you. That said, no one can rescue you if they can't hear you scream. Nobody need to waste time burying you through the already underground when you die. You're not gonna die, are you? Surely a dimly light tunnel of this must be rife with traps. However, you manage to take your way along, simply uncaught by any traps, rusty, bare, or otherwise. I got this. You're doing great. You're not at all afraid? Who, me? Nah, I gotta say this is up there among the ni nicest, damp, seemingly abandoned tunnels I've ever wandered through. Look, it even has lights. Inspired by hundreds of bravery, you dig deep inside yourself and summon courage of your own, which is good because you're going to need if you're going to head through that very murdery looking passageway ahead. You enter a humid, shadowy cave, dipping, dripping water echoes all around you. It's definitely not cozy like the cabin you left behind. You wonder, how deep does that pool of shiny water go? Let's get this over with. I was just the darkness. You see Trapper. He leans against the wall of the cave like a detective in an old film noir. I knew you'd come. Trapper, get out of our way. I'll skew you like and serve you for lunch. Wasting your time, you're never going to find what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. Is a mini game. What, a mini game? How unexpected. How playful. How about you play it right now? Find hunch just lost shiny thing. Peel them eyes. You're on the hunt now. Doing it again. Okay. You found my lost shiny thing. I'm so grateful I kissed you right now, but I won't. Because I'm pretty sure Trapper didn't actually leave, and he's still over there in Shadow watching us. Later, Trapper, you thieving little perv. Hey, that's not fair. I'm huge. Come on, Maxie, let's hurry to the next place. We got a little pen. I'm just a shiny thing, and well, it's just a regular old pen, but we don't need to point it out. She's happy, and isn't that all that matters? All right. All right, let's go to Trickster Stage, because I think she said she got it, but maybe I'm wrong. And I've never seen it, so. You're up at Trickster Stage, but there's no one here. Not Trickster, not an audience, not anybody. Nothing eerie to an empty concert venue. You think of all that fringe that once swayed there. The beers that sloshed over red solo cups. Lost bit tall guy standing in front of you for the entire show. Lifelong friendships that actually only lasted for one summer. Good times. My concert's always experience. 
Surely come to my after party sometime, sir. Real scream. I'll put you on the VIP list. I have for acoustic balaka balalaika music. Shakespeare. I've never listened to music, and I think sampling the sounds of people's screams is very been there, done that. Hey, no one talks to Trickster like that, and how do you know about my samples? Somebody's obviously a much bigger fan than they're letting on. Show me where Hunch's shiny, mysterious thing object is, or I'll wipe that crown off her face with a chloroform drenched rag. We had hush my mellow, deranged violence and torture is only cool when I do it because this is my commentary in a shallow society. I make it look sexy as hell. Your thing, my chicks, is that way. The tricks are backs away from you and resumes practicing an intricate dance routine. He was stood up to that bootleg backstreet boy, and now it was. Wow, I haven't seen that strong and stable on my feet out spoon. This just wouldn't be believable. Thank you much anything, champion. You got your target lined up and your ex misses mark. This is all considerate practice, and you're lucky you chose to be with me. Because I'm excellent, seeing back what's taken from me. I just grab something grindy from the ground and sprints away. Well, run. Oh, that's one of the coins. Found a gold coin. Alright. So, Wraith. So, going to Spirit's Lighthouse. Again. This place is spooky as suck. Wasn't the beach sunny and beautiful just a moment ago? So you're telling me that your precious sunny thing is up there? It's a pretty great night, right? Gents activate those quads. You don't get legs like this from standing still. You already know I love a good workout. Running, jumping, climbing, roughhousing. Alrighty. Get that shiny thing before your measurable horniness melts your brain and runs down out of your ears already. Yeah, I called it up. So obviously everyone just own it. Alright, you got me. <laughs> So shall we? So the lighthouse is so dark you can barely see the stuff in front of you because... But that's okay, because you've got about 100 serious practice getting the hang of this in the dark. However, something about this gloomy... place is really wearing you out and messing with your own otherwise happy, happy or horny aura. You can practice feeling your mood going down, 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 and just climb up, 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 higher into the lighthouse before you finally arrive at the top. Spirit, you look pretty pleased with yourself. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this whole thing, dead thing. She totally gets sadder the closer you get to the top of the tower. That's me, baby. Yeah, I've got to share, to share the wealth. My wealth, I mean, unending despair. You're probably here for one of your precious shiny things that I've stolen. Good luck finding it. I'll be over here reading if you need me. Sign shiny thing and anything to brighten the mood in here. It's treasure. It's treasure hunt, not a treasure miss. Steal some. Okay, quick, quick, grab the damn thing and let's go. I feel so bad. I was doing great with the first two, and then these last two, I just absolutely sucked ass. Kind of bottle opener, really? This is a fancy item, whatever. Whatever, you're a real team player. Hey. No. Stop. Spirit doesn't even look up from a book. I think you'll be fine if you just peace out. Phew. And that was fun and scary. Good to see the other killers taking their heartbreaking stride, more or less. And you got a really nice story of some of the island's lesser known haunts. Haha, <laughs> boom, still got it. Make a pretty good team, you and I. What can I say? I appreciate a fine collection. Now that yours is back in order, maybe we can head back inside to appreciate it. And you collect a certain uh, other special gift I'm meaning to give you. A special gift? Is it shiny? I suppose it could be to oil it up enough. I'm going to be ill. Enter the cabin. It's dark, barely lit, deep shadows stretching from all the walls. Somehow it manages to give you. A little bit terrifying, but also a little romantic. We barely even notice you've got other things on your mind. Oh, wow. You're practically undressing each other as you walk through the door. Minds elsewhere, neither of you realize the door is wide open already. 
You were incredible. Every time you found one of those objects, my heart beat faster and faster. Your nimble hands threw anything they can't find. Fireplace is crackling. Your heart is pounding. The smell of cinnamon is in the air. But wait, who's that? I just quickly pulls her beach cover back on. My darling. An old Russian woman bearing a striking resemblance to the hunter sits warming her hands by the fire. She turns to you, shocked to see that she appears to come from a completely different time in history, wrapped in old, unfamiliar clothes that are completely out of place here at this beach retreat. Without thinking, you blurt out, What an honor! It's you! Can't believe this! You're the mama hunters! I've been dying to meet you! Well, nearly! Can I help you with anything? Glass of vodka? I'll hatch your revenge on the elk who slayed you? I don't know much help. I'm quite content. Just happy to know why my da my, my darling is taken care of. Huntress chuckles nervously. Hi, Mama! Cut into white person like they're in a prank video. But you weren't expecting this to include meeting her mom. What? Huntress, how do you feel about your dear old mom coming to interrupt your date? Huntress throws her hat directly at the subscriber, screws the wall in between them. Without another word, they quickly scurry away. Good girl. Huntress turns to you. I hope this is alright. Of course. It's okay. I give, <clears throat> I give great parent. <laughs> I just breathe a sigh of relief. Just thought the boot I thought we were coming back to, but now I'm but I'm here now, I'm in it, I'm ready to meet your mama. Thank goodness, because mama is the only person <laughs> I mean most important in my life. The Russians invented tea, do you know that? Mama Hunter shoves a cup in your hand as you drink your tea with her. The air becomes warm around you. You, Hunters, and Mother sit by the fire, exchange stories and anecdotes. Mama pulls out some old-time pictures of a young Hunters in black and white holding bloodied animal corpses with a chilling dead-eyed stare. You all laugh and eat raw meat of some kind. It's a lovely time, almost like you're back home. You've forgotten that you're on possibly Cursed Island, top what is likely some sort of hell mouth. Look, it's not official lore, I just call it legacy. Like Every so often, Mama Huntress clutches her stomach and her eyes stare into the middle distance. She mutters some sound, as if reliving the moment she was skewered by an elf. It's very grim. I like you. Thanks for indulging me in my teen stories. Tell me, what are your intentions with my Russian word I cannot speak? <clears throat> that means money, but you guessed that already, didn't you? Or by now, you're not... By now, you've gotten your translator app ready. Start a family together. All the time, I mind his family to forge her own force, dwelling with a brood of ha half a dozen at least, haunting side by side forever. I'm just smiles at you. She reaches in her bloody cloak and pulls out a handkerchief with a flower on it. For you, the only worthy of my Anna. Who said to clean your hatchet of this earth? You take the hand handkerchief. It's soft and smells of spices. I'll take good care of this. You point to Huntress. For on the other hand, she can take care of herself. Huntress is ecstatic. You won over Mama. No easy task. My time on this plane is coming to an end. The weird magic from the ghost girl's black lighthouse won't keep me here for long. I don't want to get into logic this, but yeah, the black house can bring back ghosts back to life. I'm still here. You're willing to believe anything. The spirit who brought you back? I have to thank her. Huntress's mama begins to fade. Huntress cries. You can picture her at six year old lying over her mother's dead body. I feel her support this union. I feel good leaving my daughter on this cruel earth with you. You share a meaningful look with the mother of your beloved. Mama Huntress fades away, leaving even Huntress alone again. A second later, Claudette and Dwight storm back in, never alone for too long on this island. It is time for dramatic scene between the lovers! Shall we run to the, to the forest, clearing for ambience? You and Huntress stand, holding hands in the floor's clearing. Dwight and Claudette watch your interactions closely, too closely. Hey, I really love hanging out with you. I think, I think it's time. Time for- oh, oh my, okay, okay, I'm ready for this. It's time for you to call me by my real name like my mother does. Will you call me Anna? Oh, that. Yes, of course. I think Anna is a beautiful name, and you're a beautiful person, Anna. Max TD. All right, I'd like to do right now with you, beneath the moonlight. Feeling closer to you than I've ever been before, and there's nothing I'd rather do right now than- She averts her eyes. Does she mean what you think she means? Nope, she's looking right at Dwight and Claudette. Chop up these two fools with you. Absolutely! <laughs> They've been annoying me the whole time! So, yes! My hatchet is sharp as my love for you. Let's get bloody. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a gruesome scene. As you and Huntress go to town in the end, of the you just want to help you guys out. <laughs> we were 
being forced to help you. Can't hear you, Hanan. I can't look. <laughs> I'm dealing blood in your mouth. Uh, once you make one of us a survivor, you and Huntress will each other with maniac eyes. So we turn to the cabin. I'd love to get you out of that beach wear and into something a little less there. Thought you'd never ask. What's inside the cabin? Huntress strips off her caftan, revealing every curve of her muscled bod. Follow her lead, disrobing for the first time since waking up here on the island. Yeah, you've been sleeping in your clothes. No judgment, it's a strange new place. You kiss, and yes, if you're warning, it looks like she's gonna keep the money mask on for this sexy time. This is the part where I skedaddle. Decapitation? Sure. Tiger mullings? Love it. Dudes crushing each other's dudes and other dudes and guard crushers? Gotta have it, but hanky panky, that's all it. And <laughs> I can't handle it. you already gets to it. Ah, schwen no more. Yes, yes, boy. Beth, I don't do French. Just because Hunter speaks Russian doesn't mean I do. I speak Canadian French is a thing. Look it up. I'm just like ruining my mouth. I would just give you time. Now just to give you two time. I'm a lone dark baby. Some of you heard this one before. I only a doctor to clown walk into a bar. Fine, we'll get back to it. Pope's doing it. You and Hunter lie together in the warmth of the fire. Everything is so perfect. You imagine Mama Hunter smiling down at you from beyond. Then you realize that's pretty gross. Imagine her having just watched all of that and you tried to stop thinking about it. Yeah, that's incredible. You're telling me. Door to the cabin creaks open. Grab yourself with a blanket. Oh god, a severed arm claws his way through the doorway, leaving a trail of blood in its wake. No, we walked into a scene from a horror movie. As soon as people have sex, they die. Not when I'm around. Hunch just here's a hatchet from out of nowhere. Is that in bed with you guys? The wriggling torsos of Dwight and Claudette follow their chopped up limbs. Slowly, the pieces of their bodies start to pull themselves back together. No way. What the fuck indeed, my friend? You thought this guy would let us die permanently? Haven't you ever played Dead by Daylight? I actually have it. I still need to get started on that. I don't need to get it. <laughs> Come on, we have to get to the final scene. I mean, decision. Thought and Dwight lead you to the hunters back to the empty beach. You both bask in the glory of being freshly laid. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? Like some sort of laundry detergent, freshly laid. Actually, maybe that's good. I'll keep my agent to start circulating that. <laughs> this island is strangely great. No sarcastic remarks disguising a broken young woman heart from spirit. No sarcastic remarks disguising a broken heart from spirit. No strange, wide-eyed stare from the socially awkward wraith. No threats of men's violence from Trapper. <clears throat> Even Claudette and Dwight are tight-lipped. They seem almost zombified. Last day, your beautiful piece of meat. You've done so well. We're almost at the finish line. You didn't think I'd brought you all this way without a plan, did you? What kind of sinister body of salt water do you think I am? Which of dark energy surrounds you disappears as quickly as it came. Island always begins to return. Birds chirp in the trees. The grass rustles in the light breeze. And overlook oh, the other killers are here at the fire pit to watch the final ceremony. I can't wait any longer. The pomp and circumstances are recognizing. You're telling me. <clears throat> so it was crypt to claw that. Okay, so Huntress, how do you feel about the newcomer? Are they everything you murder so little heart has ever longed for? Huntress stares down at you for an agonizing moment. She steps towards you. My dear, I think this is true love. Come with me to the Red Forest. Son, the woods together and have a family bursting with babies. We'll raise them as fierce warriors who can fend their family and home. Just a matter of days. You've gone from completely alone to having the start of a clan of warriors. I don't see that coming. Rave starts a slow cap. No one joins in. Typical. Ever love is a concept made up by Great Incarnate Industry. I'm out of here. Spirit floats back to her lighthouse. Look behind you, Strapper. Andres, you bested me. He turns to you and offers his leathery hand for a handshake. Congratulations, Maxi. I don't shake hands with losers. Trapper's eyebrows shoot up, and then he smiles. Did not see that one coming. You're all right, kid. I mean, I hate you completely. I want to kill you mercilessly, but you're all right. But wait, you haven't said anything to Andres. And I love you too. Let's move to the Red Forest immediately. It's 12 kids too many. Maybe in this economy, but who cares? You heard this over your choice. You and Huntress embrace. Is that what you've been missing your whole life? A woman with shoulders the size of mountains who won't take off your bunny mask even during intimate times? Yes. It's a thousand times yes. You stare into the sunset and picture your life together. Happiness is real. Oh, wow. Huntress lifts her mask and you finally lay your eyes on her breathtakingly natural beauty. You know, the cabin I grew up in doesn't have the amenities that my luxurious new beach house has. He's living as a beast, bathing in the river, running wild through the bushes. While telling you this, Huntress has left her bathing suit behind and entered into the jungle. You haven't lived until you've become one with nature. Rawr. 
You chase huntress into the woods, leaving your own bathing suit behind. Oh, we got a true ending, baby! I think we might have fucked up a spirit. At some point, I might have to come back and, like, try that again. But, oh, that was like a full-on true ending! Alright, awesome! So I'm guessing we kind of probably have to, like... Um, like, actually answer everything correctly, all that kind of cool shit. Um, but I'm gonna try the other people, and then maybe I'll do, like, a stream where we just, like, skip through everything and try and see if we can get, like, true endings. But I want to see, like, everyone's thing first, so, um, I'm probably done with this for today, just because, oh my god, this game is a lot, and as much as I love it, it's taken me, like, three hours to play through this. Um, yeah, I definitely come back, and I want to try and do Trapper next, and then we'll do Wraith. I want to see if we can get like a full ending with Wraith. That'd be really fucking cool.